welcome to a new Cracker tutorial, this time on Texture Baking. Texture Baking is the process of transferring scene information, geometry, lining, materials, textures, to target objects by rendering a series of bitmaps that can be used later to simulate all this higher detail when rendering the target objects. In this tutorial, I'm going to load a scene, Mayan Skull. It has two objects, a high-poly object and a low-poly object. The high poly object has a procedural noise texture and it has a subdivide modifier and it, you can see that it has way higher detail than the low poly object. The low poly object the low poly object resembles the shape of the high poly object but it has like no detail at all. In the texture baking session I'm gonna re render two bitmaps, a normal maps bitmap and a diffuse texture bitmap, and later I'm gonna use them in the renderer. I'm going to apply them to the low poly object as a diffuse and normal maps to generate all this detail, to simulate all this detail in the low poly object. So let's bring up Crack Card and let's load the scene. So first I'm going to apply a subdivide modifier to this scene, to, this, to the high poly object. Let's set it to 3. So this is this brings up a lot of detail. Let's increase the resolution of the rendering. So basically this is the high poly object. This is the thing that we want to simulate with the low poly object. Now let's open the, again the box 3 and I'm going to use the filters to see only the nodes and let's unhide the low poly object and hide the high poly object. Texture baking needs, a, needs that the target objects have a, a unique mapping channel and unique UV, UV mesh. I'm going to generate this mesh with a UV atlas modifier. The UV Atlas modifier generates a mesh that it's that has all the properties that we need. That is basically all the faces have to be contained in the texture space from zero to one, and there can no there there can be no overlapping faces. I'm gonna change a little bit the settings here to have like not as much stretching as before. This this map is perfect for us now. So. Let's hide again this object. Let's hide the the high poly object. Okay. So let's go to tools and add a new texture baking session. I'm gonna rename this session. It's called session. And first, I'm gonna load the object. So I'm gonna pick the object, the low poly object. This is the object, the target object, is the object that is going to receive all the information. And here I'm going to add a source object, like the object that, pre that generates, that gives all the information to the low poly object. I'm going to select here the high poly object. Let's use the select by name and skull mesh. Okay, now we have our two objects. I'm going to select what bitmaps to save. Uh, skull complete. The complete bitmaps contain all the contains all the information. We are not gonna use it really, but still it's good to save. Skull diffuse. This is gonna contain all the information from the diffuse channel of the materials. And finally, skull normals. DJ. So Increase the ray offset, 15, and render. So here it's rendering the complete bitmap. And we can see here in Fast Stone that it generated the three bitmaps, the complete bitmap, the diffuse bitmap, and the normal bitmap. Now that we have the three bitmaps, I'm gonna use the renderer the materials, I'm going to apply them as a in the materials to simulate all this detail in the low poly object. Let's hide the high poly object and go to 
the materials of the low poly object we can see that it renders very plain information it doesn't have any detail at all first I'm gonna load the normal maps I'm gonna select a normal texture and here a bitmap texture and the bitmap texture I'm gonna load the skull normals and if I render this you can see that it simulates all the all the detail all the mesh detail from the high poly object into the low poly object just in the bomb channel I'm gonna change a little bit the settings just to show you how the detail can be controlled the bump, bump can be controlled this way with the multiplier okay now let's render or let's add the diffuse bitmap bitmap texture and in the diffuse channel I'm gonna add the diffuse that's called diffuse bitmap that we just rendered and let's render again so you can see how the low poly object now has way higher detail like we can see all these detail the teeth the eyes the ears that we don't have them as geometry they are just a bump map applied to the object so this was it texture breaking with crack art